Welcome to Ponte Cane. Its history is, in fact, the history of several families, as before the Crows family, who have owned the Ponte Cane for over 150 years, the chateau belonged to the Ponte family. These Ponte added their name to the domain de Cane, already vineyard at that time. My family arrived in 1975. The shadow was bought by my father, Guy Tesseron. Today I have the great pleasure to lead this estate, which remains family owned. Generations go by, and my niece also arrived lately to stand as the new generation of Tesseron. We follow the biodynamic principles. This is our choice. Why? Because we are in the permanent quest for taste. What interests me is the taste of each bunch of grapes. This is the reason why we have stopped weeding ten years ago. We work on our soil, as it used to be in ancient times. We till the land, we plow, we expose and scrap the roots, and then we earth them up again. Really, the ancient way. By the way, today, to avoid the soils to be packed down, Porticani is trying to test working with horses. It remains quite a technical test, as for several generations, people have forgotten how to work with horses. Therefore, we have had to create new tools. All this according to the same respect we apply here at Ponticani to everything we undertake. As soon as the fermentations are over, most of the wine, nearly 60%, is immediately brought downstairs, as soon as we've decided to, further to the tasting. It really is tasting that allows us to decide when to put them into barrels. We put part of it in brand new barrels, in which the second fermentation will take place, the malolactic. What I try to achieve with maturing is to find a balance so that tannins of the wines are present indeed, but without their tasting, becoming a pure tasting of wood flavors. Barrels may provide a slight vanilla aroma, of course, but above all, only the taste of the grape prevails. It is a matter of balance. The Ponte Cane wines are designed to be enjoyed with food and along with friends. They have to be tasted with what the housewife would have prepared to match them, or the other way around. But above all, the main idea is to enjoy a good time, because wine is made for pleasure. What we really want to do with our wine is what we always keep in mind. The ideal wine we would like to produce. A wine that would have to be the reflection of its terroir as well as the sublimation of this terroir. It means, in fact, making the best wine possible from a given place. Of course, we may somehow be disappointed by the final result. However, it is exactly the way we look at our children. We always find them beautiful. In this wine, I always find a lot of satisfaction and a certain pride. But I think there is a notion we have to keep in mind, that is humility. These vineyards are handed down by a generation of wine growers who worked there way before us. This aspect remains to me a very strong moment in our trade. Thank you.